How are you all doing, ladies and gentlemen? So we're here today with Dragon Ball Silver Episode 2. 2. Reaction. Now the first one was quite a lot of fun. Um, but, as always, Yancha. That's all I can say about that. That is all I can say about that topic. Because, quite frankly, it doesn't matter which show it is. It doesn't matter which form of Dragon Ball Z it is. It's always Yancha. Getting mocked. I know what, we need to start a movement, starting today, and that movement is Stop Yamcha 2021, that's going to be the movement, hashtag Stop Yamcha, I will defend the rights, no I won't, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, episode 2 of Dragon Ball Silver, as I always say as well though, please go ahead and check out the original, film, the original video which I'll have linked in the description down below, Besides that, though, let's hop right in and have a look at episode two. Let's get started. I had a feeling. It's not too damn loud. But I had a feeling it would be too loud. Episode two. Kinshin Pain. Kinshin Pain. Oh yeah, Goku transforming. VG Vegeta was like nonsense. Kakarot, are you okay? Does he look okay? Yes. Why? Oh. I thought you would go berserk. So did I. No, no. I just have a great desire for bananas. <laughs> just like my nymphomaniac wife. Hmm. Apparently, the. Ch okay then. <gasps> okay then. That's my response. Okay then. Wife. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently, the transformation <laughs> is incomplete. I guess you have to meet Yamoshi to get the complete form. What? Yamoshi exists? And he's alive? Well, exactly. Just like the Queen of England, he can't die. He's currently located Joyous. on the ancestral planet of the Saiyans. Okay. Sadala. Salad! No. Salad. V okay. Vegetable salad. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I want bananas! No. Sadala. I thought it was destroyed centuries ago due to civil war. The Saiyans no, well. who rebelled against Yamoshi left their homeland after the conflict. But the planet was never destroyed. All this is written in history books. Is that real law? I feel like I've heard Sadala before. The name. But I'm not... Is this real law? Like, I'm actually like qu quizzing myself right now whether that's weird, real law or not, but I actually have no idea. Like, legitimately, I have no idea. But the planet was never destroyed. All this is written in history books. Well, if he reads... How can you not know? I ate my teacher on the first day of school. Do you know what else would be nice to eat? Ben. In what manner, Vegeta? In what manner? Teacher on the first day of school. There Do are you two know what else I'm would be up. nice to eat? Bananas. Stop. Shut up, Kakarot. Take your <laughs> bananas and stick them up your asshole. Then go into space in search of this Yamoshi. I can <gasps> accompany him directly. No, you're already busy. <laughs> I don't understand. Do you really think I'll let that retarded monkey take another power up? No, I'm the guy who will face the war of Universe One. Okay. Whis, turn me into an angel. Uh, Are you serious? Yes! Your race is practically invincible, right? Yes, but... And you're saying pride? Fuck my pride! Seems legit. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. Alright. I hope the spaceship will arrive at the destination without problems. Sadala is located at the edge of space. Yeah, Did anyone ever get there alive? Nope. Hmm. Not that I remember. Many years ago, Universe 7. I like this music. 
the jingle. That looks like papaya. Bardock's satata, or what's he left of it. Not Bardock's, uh, Broly's flower. Never mind. Yamoshi, something has surpassed our atmosphere. It's coming here. Oh, this music is great. Hello. Hello. Very interesting. I will say this, I'm actually quite shocked. Because it feels like it feels like the episode just granted these episodes are four minutes long, so what do I expect? But it really did feel like the episode just like you know, like I was like halfway you know, halfway in, in the episode, but no, it's over already. Episode two. Well I will say that in, in this case, uh, episode one was definitely funnier than episode two, but I like the plot development in episode two. Uh, it's a good, good, a ton of good stuff. You know, Vegeta and his endless pride. Like, nah, you know what? Out the way. Screw it up. I'm not letting. Her, I'm not letting Goku have another transformation while I'm just you know sat here, uh, falling behind. That's always been my issue with Vegeta. Like he would always you know get ahead and then like immediately, almost immediately, be like now Goku or Gohan is like suddenly ahead. It's like bro, come on, man. Like as a Vegeta fan, alright. Um, always difficult to watch. <laughs> always difficult to see. Like. You know, Goku, I feel like, never worked as hard as Vegeta um, after, like, the Freezer saga. And for him to al still always, like, surpass Vegeta was always weird to me. Now, I personally actually don't care nowadays. I, I really don't care. Um, but as a kid growing up, Vegeta was my favorite character. And it's kind of funny that, like, re-watching Dragon Ball Z, it's like, I'm more on like Team Gohan and Team Piccolo now than I was when I was a kid, where it was just like Team Vegeta and Team Trunks. I never liked Goku to be completely honest. Uh, two two goody two shoes to be completely honest. Um, but now like they're just like all oh, that pride, <laughs> all that pride. But now I'm more like like you know that was me as a kid. But now I'm like, God, it's so cool, Piccolo. Basically the punching bag, but cool. And you've got Krillin. I'm like never like Krillin. Never hated Krillin, just always viewed it in neutral. Um, so we've definitely had some plot development with this episode. Although, maybe not as much. There was still some very funny moments, but like nothing tops that yam. Nothing tops that yam to a moment, alright? And that's factual. That is absolutely factual, alright? There's That's never gonna change, and that will never, ever change. And that yam to a moment was the best moment so far of the entire series. But that's just my thoughts, so ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead and check out Kishin Payne's original video. You know, we'll we'll do episode three next week. Um, you know, so we can do like one episode a week. There are only four episodes or five episodes, so it's not like you know I'm in a rush necessarily. Um, this right here, I have no idea who the characters are, but he kind of looks like Toriko, like straight up like Toriko. Um, but yeah, I'll see all I'll see you all in episode three, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know actually. I'm quite interested. Who was you go? Favorite Dragon Ball, who well, favorites? I guess who are your favorite Dragon Ball Z car or who are your favorite Dragon Ball Z characters? Let me know in this comment section down below. But I will see you all in the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out, and as always, 